Being a cameraman has its perks and its downfalls. Cause when my wife and I, we go anywhere, I'm almost expected to bring some sort of camera because I'm considered the camera guy by everyone we know. So I don't want to lug my big cameras like my Blackmagic Cinema camera or even my Canon R5 when I don't have to. Sometimes it just wouldn't make any sense to bring large cameras. Like you, I want to travel as light as possible. So I have a camera that I use for specific scenarios. For example, if you're going to be on the water or in bad weather, bring something waterproof, right? If going to a Christmas parade at night, then bring a camera that provides low light and stabilized footage. I expect my cameras to have around the minimum quality of at least a 4K 60 frames per second, flat profile, compact form factor, respectable battery management, easy to use, and reliability. I'm making this video to give you some ideas as to which type of cameras might be of great use to you no matter your shooting style. So here are my favorite compact cameras of 2024. So let's get into it. There are two cameras that I almost always have with me in every scenario, and that's of course my iPhone 15 Pro Max and the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. My phone will always be with me for obvious reasons because we pretty much live with them now <laughs> and it keeps us connected to the world. So the only safe choice to accompany it in every dry endeavor, remember I said that, is the DJI Pocket 3, which is gimbal stabilized, capable, good in all lighting situations and small enough to either fit in a small bag or my wife's purse. When it gets cooler, I'll wear a jacket and honor the pocket title, but the camera is always safe because of this tiny Sunny Life hard case. I love this case because it's just so easy to take off and put on. It protects the screen and holds the gimbal in a stable position. What else do you need? Not to mention, it is very cheap. This camera never ceases to amaze me and I love the footage it produces. I typically shoot in D-Log M, but the regular color profile is great for almost anyone. The footage is smooth and controlled, the menus are easy to navigate, and none of my non-DSLR cameras have better low light capability. If I were to pick my favorite camera of 2024, this would be it. So you don't need to ask now. It can track subjects, time-lapse, hyperlapse, make panoramas, and record some beautiful slow motion. I don't want to go too far into the weeds reviewing this camera, but it can reliably document your precious moments, so I highly recommend it. Notice I said earlier, dry endeavors. It's not for inclement weather due to the gimbal mechanics, and I'm quite fine with that because there are better options out there for inclement weather, and that's where we're heading next. I have been using the DJI Action 4 for the past year, and again, that log profile, the 4K image quality, D-warped camera footage, 1 over 1.3 image sensor for better low light is just spectacular, but with the release of that new DJI Action 5 Pro, which I just bought and have, and I am going to be doing some more testing, it's most likely going to replace my Action 4 due to the massively increased battery life, almost 50%. Here I go again with the specs, I'm going to save them for other reviews. Although the battery life of the Action 4 was sufficient, it's even significantly better with the 5 Pro, as I mentioned, so I just can't wait to start using this more. The 5 Pro has a larger and brand new OLED front and back touchscreen, and they're highly responsive. Altitude and pressure gauges for skydivers, climbers, hikers, and scuba divers. What? I was blown away with this new feature. Check it out. DJI also increased the depth to 20 meters without a dive case. 0.3 second start record feature from the off position. What? And internal memory of 48 gigs. Thank you for when we forget to bring that memory chip and don't even act like you haven't done it before because I know you have. There are so many features worthy of mentioning so I'll just stop there but if you want to see a review on this camera, just let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and be doing a review on it, but your comments will probably influence how fast I actually get this video done. But as for the Action 4, it will be staying with my kit as a B cam or even secondary backup camera that my wife will maintain and use for future travels. 
One amazing feature that now exists between the Action 5 Pro and Pocket 3 is using both DJI wireless mics at the same time. Vlogging and interviews for two people allows for more professional and polished productions. We have two more cameras that are always in the ready box for those particular circumstances that require special attention. And the second to last is my Insta360 X4, AK 360 camera. Now it's just considered the X4, but I just need to iterate the fact that it shoots an 8K. 4K on one side, 4K on the other, equaling 8K. So it's really two 4K cameras that when you crop in, you're still getting a 2.7 image on both. But it is by far the best consumer 360 camera on the market today. This is a very popular 360 camera and it's better used in well-lighted areas, but can still perform fairly well in darker circumstances over its predecessors. I use this camera for those well-lit situations that are outdoors when I'm really not sure what to expect. My family and I use it for boating, crowded environments, and when there is no plan other than recording everything in sight. This way, you can make numerous clips from one recording while never missing a special moment. Since it's a 360 camera, the stabilization is unbeatable. It also has a flat profile for more in-depth editing, and the 8K30 augments great with my other cameras. As a pro tip, if you shoot weddings or events that the client demands that you capture, this camera is well suited to be mounted in any location to ensure you have a backup of a very important moment. This camera takes a little more practice to perfect and there are numerous tutorials on YouTube to master it. I've been using 360 cameras oh so about five years now and this is the best consumer level 360 camera I have ever used. When I have it in its protective case, it takes up very little space in your pocket or camera bag or fanny pack. Everybody uses a fanny pack. If you feel awkward, shy, embarrassed, and don't want to draw attention to yourself like me, then this next camera is an impressive addition as of 2024. It's the Insta360 GO 3. So many times in my filming career, I've wanted to record while shopping or hide a camera in smaller inconspicuous, inconspicuous places. When making creative food and tech reviews, your possibilities are expanded due to the small detachable camera with the ability to frame and observe the live action. That is amazing. The camera itself is waterproof, but definitely not the docking cradle. There is no memory card to worry about and you can get the 64 or 128 gigabyte version where you just dump your footage into your phone or your computer via your USB-C or Wi-Fi. It's just amazing Man. that this tiny camera records 4K, but again, the low light is not so amazing, so just try not to be as active as you normally would in low light. Now I have the white version here, and you also have the option of the black version. But with this black silicone case here, yeah, you gotta get the best of both worlds because if I'm wearing a black shirt or you know something dark, I can just slide this over the top of the camera and it's less obvious that I'm wearing one, or when I'm wearing lighter clothing, then I can just pop the white one on, easy peasy. The point for me is to be as incognito as possible. It's not to be creepy. It's just better for me to not draw attention to recording my footage. I don't like being addressed about any of that stuff because I have a big mouth. Now, I recently documented a funeral for a family member and just turned it on for the outdoor portion of the service. I had no idea there would be a marine ceremonial detail with a bugler. So, by having it, I was able to capture the entire emotional moment with suitable audio. So I was able to record taps and that was just perfect. So it saved a very special moment from being long lost history. We are so lucky to live in a time where camera technology can be used in so many creative ways. If I lived in the 60s, I would be the annoying VHS video camera dad. And I guess in the year 2024, I still am. So that means not much is different other than the cameras are much smaller, the video is amazing, the footage takes up less space, all family events are easily documented, and I don't have to wear those socks with sandals. So if you want to see all of these cameras in action during our most recent vacation to Universal Studios in Orlando, I think you'll love it. I'll, uh, I'll post it up here for you. I have a myriad of Pocket 3 reviews and footage on the channel for you to check out, so feel free to browse through some 
variety of videos of this camera in a wide variety of lighting situations. All of these cameras will be linked down below so you can check them out for yourself. And uh, if you don't mind, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more media creation love. Specific reviews for all of these cameras are either on my channel or in the making, so stay tuned. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Yeah, that was a good one.